is is the last photos from the camera of one the victims that tried to climb a dangerous and fearful mountain in China 30 years ago. No has Kawagarbo. One of the worst ever mountaineering tragedies occurred not on Mount Everest or the Karakorum, but an obscure range up east of Tibet. The 1991 Kawagarbo tragedy in the Meili Snow Mountains, China, cost 17 lives. The Meili Snow Mountain range is made up of uh, several peaks. These mountains are sacred to Buddhists. It's a pilgrimage area for thousands of devotees each year. The highest peak in the range uh, is uh, the 6740 meters Kavagarbo. Kavajebo means the sacred wise snow mountain, and most locals call the entire mountain range by this name. According to local legend, Kavagarbo is the reincarnation of uh, a dead prince who took the form of a snowy mountain formed by lightning bolts. He is a protector and warrior god, safeguarding the area's inhabitants. Kawagarbo is close to his beloved wife Mianzimu. Mianzimu is considered one of the most beautiful mountains in the world. Kawagarbo and the surrounding peaks had seen previous climbing attempts by the Americans and Japanese, but no one was ever able to summit. Unfavorable weather and avalanches had turned each climb back. In 1987, a group of Japanese climbers arrived to carry out an extensive investigation of the flora, fauna, and meteorology. They donated money and materials to the local Tibetans and founded a school, but they did not climb. In the early 1990s, they returned to the small village and the foot of Kakwagarbo. The group consisted of 11 Japanese climbers and 6 Chinese climbers. They had two local guides. However, no one in the village knew that the group's true intention was to climb the holy mountain of Kawagarbo. There are three potential routes up the mountain, each very complex. All three have to go through a different dangerous glacier. They chose a steep glacier with a flattish area about halfway down it. The team's leader was a 45 years old experienced alpine climber. The rest of the group was younger, between 21 and 38 years old. Many already had experience on 8,000 mountains. The team and their local guides began to ascend the mountain. At 4,500 meters, for locals, it's a border that no human should cross. This is where Sharpets would always stop, out of respect of Kawagarbo. At 3,800 meters, the climbers stopped, but only to take their crampons from their backpacks. They told their local guides that they wanted to climb to the top. Alarmed, the guides turned around and returned to the village to warn them. The villagers began to pray to Kawagarbo for forgiveness, but as the hour passed, they became crazily angry even asking Kawagarbo to punish the intruders. The revered local lama had three visions, in which he saw the climbers crossing the limits of the mountain. Meanwhile, the Chino-Japanese team advanced. On December 28, they continued to climb, reaching Kang 4 and then up to 200 meters below the summit. There, a sudden change in the weather forced them to retreat back to Kang 4, they had hardly any food left. However, they did not want to return home without a summit. They decided that they were going to set up a fifth camp and attack the summit on January 3rd, 1991. Their last contact with base camp was uh, at half past 10 p.m. that day. On January 4th, at around 6 a.m., 
Those at base camp were waiting for the group to radio in. All the members had walkie-talkies, but these were torn in half. The Lama was worried because 17 flies had appeared on his ropes, apparently an hill homan. A search helicopter could not take off because of bad weather and there was no information on the terrain because no one knew the mountain above. On January 8, a Chinese team arrived to help in the search, but there was no sign of the climbers' tents. Finally, the helicopter managed to take off. Photos taken from the helicopter showed the remains of a gigantic avalanche, more than 300,000 tons of ice and snow. In April, they sent another search team, but the mountains pushed them back. They recorded a whopping 48 avalanches. In the town, at the foot of the mountain, the locals recalled a legend. Those who disprected the god of the mountain would have one more punishment after death. They would become prisoners of the mountain for seven years. And seven years later, on June 18, 1998, three local Sherpas found some of the group's gear. In 1999, 4,000 meters away from their last known location, the body of 16 of the 17 climbers were found in glass at 3,800 meters. The watch on one of the victims showed a time of 1.34 am. A friend of the group returned almost every year to collect the climbers' belongings from the mountain. In 2001, China banned climbing the Meili Snow Mountains and Kavagarbo remains unclimbed.